I found out the container ships would take passengers, but I was really interested in connections between Qatar and the UK. So it seemed like sort of modern version of the Pearl Trade routes. Rasafan feels like a forbidden city. Uh, it's extremely difficult to get access to it, even if you're working in the industry. They allowed me to go onto the deck to see how the gas basically is pumped onto the ship, and there's these huge, they're called chicks and arms, which are loading arms, uh, and they're covered in ice. Uh, you know, I mean, it looks like that much ice surrounding them, which is crazy in 50 degrees temperature in Doha. From an artistic point of view, visually, it's absolutely fascinating. And the crew definitely were interested to know what exactly I'd be doing on the ship. They'd come and watch and go, oh, they always said, oh, very nice, even though it was absolutely rubbish, which is very sweet. Uh, but I think they became much more interested when I was drawing them. The breakthrough was doing a picture of the first engineer who sat for an hour and a half in the engine control room posing like this, you know, profile like a Bollywood superstar. Normally, shipping only gets in the news when something goes wrong. So they were really interested that this was a much more sort of human way of showing what's happening on board a ship. I just wanted to record what life at sea for them was like. A drill with Mark Penn is something very immediate. So it really keeps you in the moment and keeps you focused. They announced that everyone had to report for the art workshop, so we had 17 of the crew, which was fantastic, who had to be there. <laughs> uh, but it's very good atmosphere, there's a lot of joking. And there was a huge range of talent act. It's a discipline, you have to do it regularly. It has to be something like eating or breathing. It's something that has to come naturally and the only way that happens is by drawing regularly. If you're doing 12 hours of drawing, you know, you might have one or two pictures that you're happy with, but you need to be putting in the hours in order to get those. I don't know, it's a way of engaging with the world, it's a way of recording it. Uh, and when you, when you look at a drawing that you've produced, everything comes back, you know, the people that you met, uh, the experience. It's a way of grabbing hold of something, isn't it?